Home Space launches for the second year the Adopt a Door fundraising campaign aimed at raising funds for purchasing, renovating, and securing accessible, affordable housing units for families, seniors, and individuals living in extreme housing need in Calgary. A recent survey by the Alberta Medical Association found that over 90% family doctors are concerned about the financial viability of their practices. Meanwhile, 61% are considering leaving the Alberta healthcare system. Extreme cold temperatures in Alberta have set an all-time record for power consumption in the province. The investigation is ongoing and police are asking anyone who may have information on this incident to contact them. Another hurdle for the province's proposed plan to withdraw from the Canada Pension Plan and to create a provincial pension plan. As the latest poll shows, support continues to slide, even among those who support the party in power. After an unusually warm start to the winter, temperatures drastically drop in western Canada and here in Calgary. Environment Canada also warning about lower than usual temperatures for the coming weeks. After Calgary City Council approved a new budget adjustment on Wednesday to increase property taxes for homeowners to 7.8% in 2024, many homeowners are concerned about what this means for them. Parents and childcare providers concerned about the deadline to join the child care subsidy agreement. By 2025, Alberta has plans to transition from an early learning and child care system funded by parent fees to one primarily funded by government in a way to reduce core child care fees. New research from the University of Calgary shows Calgary as the least most accessible city among three main Canadian cities. The study shows nearly 60% of public spaces in Calgary, Vancouver and Ottawa are either inaccessible or partially inaccessible to people with disabilities. Airdrie Library is getting international attention for helping vulnerable people endure the cold. With temperatures plummeting below 35 degrees in the past week, Albertans desperately needed a warm spot. But not everyone had access to one. The city of Airdrie, just north of Calgary, decided to help by creating alternative warming shelters like this public library, which extended its operating hours around the clock. Strategically located mobile warming stations continue to bring relief to Calgarians experiencing homelessness. The Salvation Army have set up two spots daily, offering food, hot drinks, shelter and transportation to shelters if needed.